Okay guys, this video is about excuses. There are no excuses left, okay? Everyone in the world can now program. Everyone in the world can now code. With a little bit of, you know, being careful and research and things like that, anyone can code now. And I'm telling you, I've been vibe coding since the days of GPT Pilot, uh, I think it was called, which might have actually been an, a forerunner to Lovable, I can't remember. Um, and all kinds of things. Like, I've been vibe coding for two, three years, or a year and a half. I don't like the term vibe coding, okay? But, so I actually made a video about this um, a year ago. I don't know when this was. I'm not actually sure, like, how long ago a year was. And you can see, some people laughed at me. You sound like you found Aladdin and the lamp, right? Because I was obviously so excited for things. But literally, like, it, it, it's changed everything. It's literally changed everything. I was right. Claude Code is at the point where you can make anything with it. I'm telling you right now, Claude Code is completely nuts. Now, I'm going to show you something in this video, okay? I'm going to show you someone pro something that someone programmed with zero experience. I'm talking about, you know, they literally just came on uh, four days ago. It's Rowan, my business partner. He came on four days ago, and I want to show you what he made in four days, and it's completely nuts. Now, zero experience might not quite be fair, because he is like a UI, UX kind of designer and CRO, which is conversion rate optimizer. So, like, he knows how to do these things, or like where things should go, but he's got zero, and I mean literally zero experience with coding, right? So you guys may know I'm working on something called SEO Grove. It's seogrove.ai, right? And yeah, I'm just gonna show you it, okay? This is not the final form or anything like that, but I just want people to see how crazy this actually is. Now, if you've seen it already, the site, it looked a little something like this a few days ago, right? This is what I made. Um, I mean, I thought this looked okay, but like compared to what Rowan has done with zero experience, I mean, you guys are going to be blown away by this. Just remember, Rowan has got absolutely no experience in this whatsoever. Okay, so there's no excuses left, honestly. Now, this is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript on top of a Python slash Flask backend. Really, really nice setup, I have to say. I'm actually using SQL Lite. I didn't think I was using SQL Lite, but it turns out I'm using SQL Lite to write code to Superbase, which I didn't even think was a thing, but... So this is a pretty nice system that it's set up for me, basically. And now, without further ado, let's actually look at what Rowan made with literally zero experience. I mean, look at this. This is, this is insane, guys. This is, like, it's literally over. It's actually over for people. Like, this is completely nuts. Look at it. Like, look at the quality and, oh my god, it's just, it's just insane. And all of these pages have content, all of them look good. Look at this, um, where's the, where's the, which one was it? Was it fashion? Where's the, yeah, look at this, visual search optimizer, look at the animations. Come on, dude, this guy has zero, less than ex zero experience in coding. And he managed to vibe code this just using Claude code, right? Literally just using Claude code. Now, he obviously had my help in terms of like getting started. If you're interested in getting started, definitely check out this cool community. Um, this is kind of where I put all of my thoughts and everything, where I um, explain Claude code, things like that. So if you're interested in getting starting, started with something like this, definitely check out the school community. But like, I would really, really encourage you guys to try something like Python and either Fast API or uh, Flask, right? And then the front end, you just literally build pages with HTML, CSS, JavaScript. And then for a database, you use something like SQL Lite. And then for like the prod production database, use something like Superbase or just work out how to make SQL Lite like a production ready database where it has permanence over resets and things like that, right? This stack 
If you actually think about it, every page on the internet is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, right? But they're within frameworks, and those frameworks, building a beautiful page like this is infinitely easier, infinitely easier, I'm telling you, than something like Next.js. On Next.js, arguably, you could make it look nicer, it would be more integrated, it would be, you know, better code, whatever. But in terms of like building something with basically zero experience, you are not gonna find a better tool than Claude Code, right? So the beautiful thing about Claude Code and also the beautiful thing about HTML, CSS and JavaScript, right, is you can just say like, let, let's just say make, uh, do some research on AI, then make me a nice, beautiful, clean, modern infographic using HTML, CSS, JavaScript, right? So the really cool thing, this is actually how, if you don't know, this is how we worked out how to do infographics on um, Harbor. Uh, they're actually just HTML, CSS, and JavaScript blocks. You need to think, like people always want to do images, but it's actually much better to just do HTML, CSS, and JavaScript because you can really, really make it look amazing. So yeah, basically we are planning on launching this entire business and we will have spent about five weeks on it. And yeah, it looks incredible. It works incredibly. Like if I log in here, uh, that should be right, right? Oh. So this is SEO Grove, right? It'll look completely different to this. We're not launching this yet. This isn't launched. I'm just making this video about the topic, right? Because it's very, very interesting that you can just build this. I have experience, right? So like I would say backend stuff, you need a bit more experience. You need to understand databases. You need to understand cache. You need to know prompt engineering or at least how to prompt AI to prompt AI properly. And you also need to know things like what, how to pass information from prompts, uh, agents and things like that. But, and this is a big but, I wanna show you something absolutely crazy right now, okay? You guys know that I'm not a big fan of Stripe. I generally try and steer clear of Stripe. If I go to this page here, oh, it doesn't exist yet. Okay, so the only way I can actually show you guys this is by showing you um, the super base. Rowan, who again, zero experience in programming everything, etc., managed to set up Stripe, right? So we, we can accept um, payments on the platform. Rowan implemented that in a few hours with zero experience. Now, my theory for this, right, and why this is so damn easy is because it's HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. There's no fancy framework. So most AI can easily implement things into something like this because it doesn't have to worry about other libraries. It doesn't have to worry about this, that, and the other. All it has to do is implement things in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. I think this is the key. Obviously, Python and Flask also play a role in this, of course. I understand that. Like, it created a Stripe service.py. But all I'm saying is this stack is so simple and so easy to use that anyone can do this. Rowan is a marketing guy. He's very, very good at vision and look and things like that. But he's never been a coder. He's not even, not even close, right? Four days ago, had never even opened Visual Studio Code or used GitHub or used Docker. And now he's fully set up with a local Docker host. He can push to dev and he can push to prod. Like I said, I helped him with this, but everything you need is on the internet. Everything you need is on the school. Everything you need is on my channel for free. You can set this up too, I am telling you guys. I'm gonna leave the video there, guys, but I really, really need to stress this to people. Claude Code is another level. It's much better than anything else I've ever used. There's something special about it, and it just works. We are developing, developing an entire app, previously just me, now two of us, and we're planning on launching within two weeks. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend. Try this out for yourselves. I'll see you soon with some more content and peace out.